same with retirement planning. Everyone's got a retirement plan. Oh, I'm going to do X, Y, Z. I'm going to retire. And then they get hit with something. And there's three main punches that people face. One of them is a stock market correction or investment returns that crash. You know, you got all your money in the stock market in 08. It crashes. And now you're like, wait a sec. Uh, I'm supposed to be retired. I don't have enough money. I got to go back to work. So I talk about that all the time. Um, the second the stock punch, market crashing hit a lot of people a few years ago or oh, like, yeah. like five was, to ten years ago right it's eight years now and and people are like saying they still remember it like it's yesterday right because, you know why and you would know why is because people have such an emotional it impacted people such an emotional way that they are now making decisions financial decisions based on the emotions they felt in 08 right which is okay you don't want to forget. well you lose trust in the stock market after that you lose confidence in what your investments are mm -hmm. if you were the stockbroker you probably your clients probably lost trust in you like things it, like that a exactly. lot of people were ripple effect hit right and and then now okay you made a plan and now you start to panic because wait a sec this is happening over here um, I'm planning on retiring, but the market and crap, I don't know what to do. And then what do they do, they make rash decisions. And you know that emotional decisions, which most decisions are, but truly emotional decisions at a key emotional states aren't necessarily going to be the best decisions you make. Right. So the idea of retirement planning is to set up a plan in place so that when the emotional waves happen, which are inevitable, you're not panicking and you're not making silly decisions or bad decisions at that point. You think about the, the crash of 08. In hindsight, it makes sense. We should have been buying there, right? We shouldn't have sold. But a lot of people who are very close to retirement who said, I don't want to go back to work, they sold at the bottom. And they just sat there and watched everything come back. And then they bought again. And now they're saying, why didn't I just stick through with it? So a lot of my job as an investment advisor is coaching people and managing emotions, which is very not, not what I expected. And you have a, I'm a hard numbers job. guy dealing with um people's money and then emotions right i'm hoping i could start outsourcing that to you <laughs> but <laughs>